Hey guys, stay tuned for this episode. We're gonna be naming our horse. We're gonna scale Death Mountain without wearing any clothes. And we're gonna go to a place where we can get a ton of new ingredients and show you where that is as well. Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest, friendliest place on YouTube. We are playing some Breath of the Wild today. Uh, this is episode 11 in You Choose How We Play, and we've just captured a new horse because uh, we had a bazillion great comments on what to name the horse recently. Uh, you guys are tremendous in your support and your suggestions, and uh, but we figured out we can't rename the horse that we caught. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> one person did suggest we name that horse Placehold, because that's what we named the horse. And uh, lo and behold, by default... That's kind of what we're stuck with for that horse. That is going to be the name but of the horse. But we did see a bunch of names of horses, so while we're getting to a stable here, Peter is going to read off some of the names, and then we'll tell you what we have decided, based on your comments, what the name should be of our brand new beautiful blue steed. Yeah, that's looking good. That's a nice horse, Ted. Thank uh, you. Yeah, we have decided which name we're going to choose, but there were some really great names out there. I'm going to read some, and I'm going to recall some, too. Um, one person said Penelope. That was a favorite of mine, one of my personal favorites, because it made me care about the horse right away. Um, I forget who you were, but that was a good suggestion. Uh, one person, a lot of people said Epona, uh, which is great and clever, of course, because of uh, previous Zelda games. One person said Epona backwards is, uh, nope. <laughs> which would have been a good name for a horse. Let's see, we had First Horse, we had Mr. Horsey, we had Paracha. Somebody wanted us to name the horse after them, Zachary. <laughs> I thought that was a great name for a horse. Oh, if somebody gets this meme, let us know. Cash me. Outside, how about that? Cash me outside, how about that? I don't, I don't get it, but I can see why it would be funny. I guess. Uh, there's <laughs> super horse. There's fat horse. Uh, there's tree because <laughs> the horse kept getting <laughs> stuck, stuck on, on the trees. tree. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, one person said, "Wait, can you rename them?" The answer is no. You can't. <laughs> we found that out today. Okay. Oh, <laughs> one person said. <laughs> Name the horse. Uh, this is uh, Brayden H. I don't know okay. if that's your actual first name, last name. Uh, but they said, name the horse this. And then they'd put a dash and then an underscore and then a dash. <laughs> it's just like... So it's like a little squinty eye emoticon. The like, meh mm. face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, there's the one we actually picked. I won't read that one out loud yet. Oh, man. Is this the best way to go uh, down to the right? Oh, it was... Uh, we just gotta to go? get to. Well, I just gotta get to a uh, stable. That's what I need. Oh, to, to name the horse. Yeah. Uh, it was Dominator that said, "Name the horse Placehold." So okay. uh, that's what we're naming the first horse because that's because we already named him, and that's yes. the end of that. Hey, by the way, we are going to be attempting our death, uh, our our naked Death Mountain run <laughs> in this episode. Uh, first, we've got to stock up on a, a little bit more stuff. Oh yeah, we that, do that. That's good to mention. If you're, if uh, that's our plan, that's our goal for the end of the episode, or yes. for sometime in the episode. So if you're hoping to see that, stick around. You will see that. It is going to happen today, and we have a strategy, and it will be taken care of. Let's see. So. There was Bob. There was Good oh. Horse. Ah. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, you got a quarter heart, dude. I like this name. Hotel Hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel Hooves. <laughs> yeah. Someone said name the horse Bond, and I thought James, James Bond? Bond. Right, but then I remembered Bond bowling, Bond horsing, horse bonding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Shade so was a good name. That was like a serious name. Like name oh, we're the going horse. just completely the wrong way. Name it Shade. You are? Yes. Oh, go get go get Horsey. Go get Steve. Wait, where are you going? I'm trying to figure out where oh. I'm going. That's the thing. I don't think I can bring the horse that way. Maybe oh. you'll get a new horse. The, uh, this one got a lot of upvotes. You should have named the horse Navi because it was very annoying before you registered it. <laughs> Wait, did you just fast travel away from our new horse? I did because I'm not even near any stables and uh, it's just way out of the way. So do you see the glowing up there? Yes. That's the mushroom hut or mushroom outcropping. Oh, I thought they'd be luminous stones. Well, there are luminous stones uh... around in here too, but like basically these like weird globs coming off the side of this mountain there are just so so many delicious ingredients to be found yep and uh yeah it's just it's gonna be fantastic i'm glad you know that because this is um 
the, the west edge of the map. I, I've gotten all the towers now. Oh, all except one. I'm at the top of the You're tower. You're talking about your your own personal. Right. Game. Yeah. Um, so, the, so I've unlocked everything, but the west end of the map I have spent less time with than all the rest of the map. So I'm glad that you know your stuff. Because this is the kind of thing that's going to help us out, see? Yeah, and there's a shrine up here, so we'll be able to warp back here and get all the ingredients really fast for stuff. Oh. You guys are going to be really glad that we did this, yeah. especially because of all the uh, different kinds of things you want to see us do. How often does that stuff um, respawn? I feel like it. Blood Moon respawns. Like ingredients and stuff? Mm, no, it can't be that. I, I, I'm just not sure. I don't know how often it is or what you know the blood moon may do it but maybe it's not the only thing that does it i just don't know look at all these rush whoa rooms. yeah see i'm telling you man this is the place this is the place to be if you want ingredients man i shouldn't have saved this spot uh for last <laughs> in my game well i found it like you know i i hung out here a little bit here and there because i was like ooh, there's some cool stuff happening on this mountain but look Look at all these mushrooms just yes, chilling. Yes, this is Hylian the Hylian shrooms. Sun, sun shroom. shroom. That's new. Yeah, this will help us out with, um... Silent shrooms. With attempting to go up the mountain, too. Having a little more food. Uh, Death Mountain. Razor shrooms. Having a little shroom. bit more food helping us out. Yeah, so much more food, guys. Also, Ted was telling me he found a, a bit less of, uh the worst path possible up the up the mountain i don't know if we took the worst path possible but it we, was just it was a long, we went a long time of way. being burnt yeah you know a long time to be on fire and uh and he found something a little a little better i'm glad we're doing this peter it's like we have the whole world is our oyster now we can get whatever we want basement uh dwellers i've learned something about ted over the years and if you haven't picked up on it i'm gonna share it with you now when Ted says he's glad we're doing something, it's because 49% of him is not glad we're doing something. <laughs> and he's trying to... You're totally right. Talk it up a bit. Well, yeah, and it's not a bad thing. It's just a oh, thing. This is a curious location. It's just a thing that's true. If you know what happens here, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. Oh, a silent princess. Yeah, you might need that for things that happen. Hardy truffles are up here. Silent princess. The best kind of princess. <laughs> oh, and Dura carrots. The best kind of carrots. Carrot. <laughs> I, was try, I was trying to make Endura into Those a Those Endura noun. carrots, you That's guys, are the bomb. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do they do? With the give amount you, of... Give you extra defense? Yep. Extra attack power? Extra You're stealth? 100% right. Extra speed? Okay, now I just got to find where this shrine is. It's on the other side of this crag. I like how pink crack. it is right there. I know, it's so pretty. Like little peach blossoms. Little... Mm -hmm. Blossomy. Feels very like classic Japanese nature beauty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nature beauty. Mm. Oh. Poof. Don't care about that. I, I love get those. Uh, the shrine. Oh, it? I feel like I've been here before. Like I've been to the tops of these and then I dropped down and got that Korok seed. Hello, shrine. I found mm. you. Mog Latin. Mog Latan. That's right. uh, certainly the way, the way I would name my shrine. Apples for days. What? Yes. Oh man. See what I'm saying, dude? This like is this what is the you place to go. You said like go grind. That was a good spot to get wood and apples. Oh my gosh, look at all those apples. I'm going crazy with apple envy right now. <laughs> crazy with apple envy. <laughs> yeah, Theater, a well placed Theater bomb will knock down so many apples. You don't so even know what to trees. do. Link's gonna be making apple pie, apple butter, apple, apple custard, sauce. apple. Fries, apple, apple jelly, apple, apple burgers, apple pudding, apple steak, apple apples, apple socks, <laughs> apple socks. Oh yeah, they'll, more like they'll ample. Whip the moisture away from your feet. More like ample socks. All ample. right, we've got so you many. You can't apples. carry any more apples. <laughs> that would be amazing. Have you found any kind of item limit yet? Uh no. Other than like you know the the amount of melee weapons you can carry. Oh, right, but, like, just something that will stick a member next to it. That's something that stacks. It, it, uh, I used to think, oh, I better start using these because I'm near 99, you know, and then I accidentally got 120 of something, and I was like, oh, and I do have stuff that I have, like, 200 of, but there's gotta, I mean, of course there's a limit. Just don't know what it is. Maybe wow. 255. An homage to the maximum number of rupees in the original Legend of Zelda 
perhaps. Oh. <laughs> okay. You know it. All right, I'm skipping the herbs. Because you can't. Oh, there they are. Never mind. <laughs> Remember the thing I just said I was going to skip? Not skipping it. Because it's right here. Oh my gosh, look at us go. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. So much food, so much wild greens to be had. Yeah, this is the Ooh, place to go. blue nightshade. Yeah, we're not going to even... Hardy radishes, armoranths. Thistles. M a mighty thistle. Warm safinas. I just have See to see what I mean. That, like, like every time. you don't really need to go anywhere else other than this side of this mountain. Wow, you guys, that was so amazing. Might as well yep. get this guy. Got a lot of good stuff. We're stocked up. This is what I found. If you see a Korok seed, just get it. Uh huh. Don't don't wait. Don't be like, oh, come like, back later and get like, it. Like unlike earlier in this episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, well, it's different if you're okay. If you're playing on a YouTube channel with the sole purpose of trying to, you know, entertain people, then yeah, go ahead and skip them because they're kind of boring to see somebody get a bunch of those. But if you're just playing, like, don't pass one up. Yeah, and you're planning just on them trying all. to 100% the game or something like that. All right, we've gotten so many ingredients now. We are ready to oh, go. Oh, the red, to the orange towers show up. Can you travel to an orange tower? No. No. Interesting. I wonder uh, what made it show up. Being Just the close fact enough that it, to it? Yeah, it came up. The the words came up on the screen. All right. Well, here is Miro Shaz. Do you want to go to the one south of that and get a horse, or should we uh, attempt the old... Oh, we did promise we were going to get a horse, and... Uh, yes, we did. Darn. You've got promises to keep. And I'm miles to go keeper. before you sleep. Oh, Whoa. yeah, there we go. Which one? You, oh, grab that fairy. Oh man, if we can have a fairy, we can have many fairies. Yes. Yes. I Except am. it might be a while before we can get to Kakariko Village. Oh, oh sweet, yeah. We can get this blue horse again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, weird. It's just a guardian leg just chilling. Like a villain. I know you saw that comment earlier about how um, you'd be running like sideways to the camera. Yeah. And they're like, just. Just stay straight. Just yeah. keep going straight. Have I have I been being better at it? I don't know. <laughs> I did say that I was going to pay more attention to it, but I honestly, I have forgotten completely <laughs> about that. I think I noticed just now. Oh, that hey, didn't happen. what's your problem, horse? Well, you approached him from the front like a goon. Oh, wow. Come back. Welcome back to oh, We Don't Know. Oh, <laughs> man. I didn't. Well, I didn't know he would kick me in the face. Are you going to approach from the front again? Basement towards watches. Look how still they're all holding. I know. Three little horses standing in a row. One says, Nay, let me go. <laughs> he walks away, and the other says, Okay, no. hold, hold. Hold, 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 hold. I'm holding. I'm holding. Oh. 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 I'm so glad I hoded. All right, stable time. Yes, and this horse's name shall be called. Oh, are we going to do that during the <gasps> right now? We got a better horse. It's got four. Oh, yeah. And a wild temperament it's all <laughs> to worth boot. It. All right, we're heading straight for our stable. Look at that deer. Something's wrong with that deer. It doesn't look as cool as the blue horse, but... It's got a long tail, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, they all have the same length tail. It's interesting. A, it's a horse. Any horse will do at this point. Have you got a stable in mind? Is there one nearby? So when I was looking down, there is one very close. Okay, good. It's the same stable that we were near before. Lot, I'm just gonna have a sip whoa, whoa. of coffee here. That's mm. what we need. We a, need some of those that we can cook up. A big one. Yeah, that way we can get a lot okay. of yellow. I hearts. hear I hear a beetle playing his recorder nearby. Is that who it is? Yeah, he plays the recorder, and if uh, if there is some accordion to be had. Then whatever his name is, Cass. he's also doing that. He's cool. Yeah, I, I like, like him. him a lot. He's like the Fruit Loops guy, except he plays the accordion. I didn't realize. Just follow your nose. Also, listen to this horrible music. I didn't realize. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hot, hot. The accordion music is good, but I don't, uh, I don't like this recorder music. Um, I didn't realize it was Beetle. I just knew it was near all the stables. Yeah, if you watch, he's playing. Pfft. What a jerk. Okay, what's the name of our horse? 
Greet Lok. Greet Lok. Um, so, Peter, tell the story of... So, Tessin L.A. comments, if you can rename the horse... Well, we can't, but we got a new one. Yep. I think, quote, Greet Lok is a great name for it. That's Potlid in Swedish as a tribute to the killing of the Guardian. Smiley face. With a potlet. Yes, because we did. And look how cool this name looks, yeah. too. Greet Lok. You guys are all happy that we're choosing this one, right? Okay, now. but we're going to say it with our regular Minnesota American accent from now on. Gritlock. Gritlock. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, so we got this horse called Gritlock. It's a good horse. Cool. Placehold is now in their care, and here we go with Gritlock. All right. Um, Fast travel toward the old... There we go. Here we go. Travel. Oh, man. Death Mountain, guys. We're going to take off all our clothes. We're going to eat all the food we just got. Oh, are you, do yeah. you want to cook anything? Uh, do it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's a really good point. It probably is getting too late now to cook foods. Maybe we will see a good cooking cookie cook fire yes basement dwellers we asked you guys about the length of the episodes when the last two got away from us a little bit and reached into the three mark the 30 minute the, mark yeah the, the the three number in the 10 spot and um of all the comments oh. that we got everyone was like oh yeah long that. episodes are great so um we were we're we're gonna try to shoot for a little bit shorter but Breath of the Wild is the kind of game that can kind of get away from you a little bit, and so that'll it's true. That'll probably still be a fair number that end up. And being we want to make long. sure that stuff happens in an episode too. It's not just like right because you could have a twelve minute episode of Breath of the Wild and like in which literally nothing, nothing, nothing really happens. happens. Let's not uh. Let's not entertain let's not him. Do that. Cool. Um. You're, you're looking for a fire. Fire. Yeah. Good luck in the rain. Yeah. Ugh. And w w since we've got pro. Uh, heads up display mode. We won't even know how long it's supposed to rain for. We could do this though. Yeah. Beetle's laugh sounded like a Minecraft witch. Oh, do the soft bed. That's a that's yes. a chance at some free uh, free hearts. Yellow hearts. It's totally free. All it'll cost you is several rupees. Soft bed. What's the soft bed? Let's sleep until morning. Hopefully, that's far enough away from right now to get us a different. <laughs> what if you slept until night, just a 30-minute nap? <laughs> All right. How ridiculous. Hey, we got one extra heart, and I did enjoy my stay, and it's bright out. Time to do some cooking. Wow, one heart for uh, 20 rupees. There it is. Hello. Do you have an elemental okay. weapon? I do not, but lo and behold, I do believe I have a fire. Uh, nope. nope. Will bomb arrow work? There might be a torch nearby. Grab that wood. Grab oh, why are the fires not lit? They'll light. Yeah, there's your torch. You could set something mm. down and borrow the torch. Do we have flint? Why? Uh, I think we do have flint. We'll do that. Materials. I don't know that we do. Yep, we got two right there. Yay! Let's use half our flint. Oh Please man! Be close enough. Is that gonna do it? Yeah. Hiya! Yes. Nice. Okay. Time for cooking. Oh man. Yeah, guys, we're gonna cook up some stuff, and that's gonna help us uh, help us get to the top. Oh, of, whoa, yeah. plus nine. That might be something we save for later. Honestly. Uh, yeah, really. If, especially if I think you just want to do one at a time, don't you think? For each one, it gives you. That seemed to do better than just giving us one. Yeah, I wonder if we when got you have the, a lot like of hearts. Critical hit. When whatever. you have a lot of hearts, you want to do just one. You want to do just one because oh, it gives you I full see. health plus one heart. But a few extra yellows. But if you have really no deal. hearts, this is good. Oh man. Okay. Also, I'm gonna do uh, hold an endura carrot. Okay, this is this is my favorite meal to make. Endura carrot and a meat. And a meat. Any meat. Any meat. The bigger the meat, the more health you get back, but it completely fills your green stamina and gives you yellow stamina. Oh, nice. With just one Endura carrot, dude. One. Yeah, just that's one. awesome. And you can you can combine it with mushrooms. So you can get like a an enduring mushroom skewer. That's like ban bananas and meat. I like that a lot because yeah. you can get um four bananas and any meat will give you a, a high level attack power boost. This will probably give us more hearts than we can hold. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, oh well. By a few. Eight out of three. We I don't think we can worry too much about that though, because I mean, depending on how far we want to try to get with three hearts. Hardy, this is what we want. Um, I like the idea. So I'll talk a bit about some of our long-term goals with this game right now, just as a refresher. I think we've talked about this in the past. It's true. But we've talked about um, beating the four All right, are divine we ready? beasts. We have a lot of cooked meals. But not, yeah, I think we're ready. Do a save, and then we'll uh, go up the mountain. Um, I think I'm going to edit some of this out of this video, too, because it, it'll sure. be long otherwise. So that might be why we jumped ahead a little bit a couple times back there, guys. There were some pretty slow moving spots. Yeah, it, it took it. You know, it's, where's my horse? It's, oh, that's right. He's game. not here. Did you need luck? Yeah. You didn't board him, did you? I just didn't get him here. Oh, uh, yeah, you so fast traveled. I have to warp grit luck. Mm -hmm. Yes. What happens if you take him up so high that it starts getting hot? I don't know. I've never started a horse on fire that way. I've always just parked a horse over a campfire to do that. Yeah, that's the standard way to catch a horse on fire. Okay. Death Mountain, where are you at? Seriously, where are you at? You're a giant mountain. How come I can't see? Okay. Is that it? This is the way we want to go. Alrighty, we're on our way. This is also very close to a certain mysterious wood. Wooded area. Ooh, yeah, we got some requests to go there, and guys, believe us, we will. And we will uh, find our way through without getting lost. Well, well maybe. So I'm going to take this opportunity to bond with my horse. Gritlok. We said we're going to say it like a Minnesotan, but I keep saying it like a Swedish. Well, I'll just say Gritlok. Hey, speaking of Swedish, I am of Swedish ancestry. I'm like 100% Swedish, other than the fact that I was born in America. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like a native Swede. Right. You know, but, but like I'm you're... like. Your dad's My DNA really test. Swedish, and your mom's really Swedish. Yeah, and like 100. Your pets are all Swedish fish. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, they're floating. Did when, they die? When no, you cook food. they're made of gummy, cherry deliciousness. That's why they're floating. Mmm, <laughs> good mm. point. When you cook food, you say, pork, pork, pork. Like the, <laughs> like the Swedish chef from Muppets. <laughs> okay, yeah. so check this out. Yeah, you see, I'm checking. You see this... Uh, spiry looking outcropping of rock up here. Uh-huh. You climb one of these bad boys, you can fly right into Goron Town. Oh, nice. Well, oh don't forget to, you gotta take off your clothes, because that's part of the challenge. Gotta be a nudie patootie. Alright, I'm trying to remember which one. Let's get nudie right now. Whoa! No time like the present. No time like the president. All right, back to where we were before we started the episode, <laughs> except now we're way more prepared. Oh, the Italian shield. Someone left a comment. Don't forget to call it the Italian shield. The Italian shield? I think I made, I must have made that joke in a previous episode. If someone remembers, let us know. Um, but somebody commented, like, because it's fun to read through the comments on these videos, like, go, go kill Ganon with the leaf and, and, uh, blindfolded. Like, some of them are just so ridiculous. They're all a joy to read, but every once in a while, one sticks way out for being, like, call the Hylian shield the Italian shield. <laughs> Should we just do one of these giant meals? Hey, you're playing, man. I, I trust you. I I, uh, I support your decisions. I support your lifestyle, Ted. Of eating large meals while on fire and flying. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's right. You've lost a lot of stamina. Oh, snap. Look at that, though. You're going to fall. That was the wrong thing. It was the wrong thing. I wanted this. There we go. Gosh. Sorry, I wasted one of them, my guys. <laughs> it's all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to be just fine. Oh, are you gonna blast? Yeah. Oh man, I'm glad. See, I'm crit. I'm. Oh, whoa. Oh, you're getting the cutscene. Va Radanya. Glad you're playing because I'm critiquing you, but meanwhile you're like down to a heart and you're feeding yourself, and I totally would have not noticed <laughs> and just died. Oh well, you know, I, it's part of the benefits of. Oh, Zelda. I'm burning. At least I'm not on fire and dying during this cutscene. Yeah. Can you imagine? 
I guess okay. the sound of Zelda's we, voice we, uh, gives we Link know, the strength we know that this happened. to resist the heat. It's a cooling, soothing voice that digs down deep into my heart and puts chill in my bones. <laughs> if Zelda were a, uh, a mint, would she be spearmint or um, peppermint or wintergreen? Comment below. Oh, man. Don't get pitched out of there. Hey, this, uh... It took us a bit, but look how well we've done. <laughs> Nude. Look at that. We're even gonna get some fireproof clothes since we're here. Uh, can we afford them? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know about getting there. too many more of those. Why? Well, we completed the objective and we can fast travel away. Nah, we'll be fine. Hell. We're in Goron City. We are in Goron City. We'll that was the goal. To the clothing shop, which is not there. Nor is it there. Um, when you're inside, are you still burning up? I think you are. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Ooh, maybe this won't work. Uh, we'll find out here. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna work. That's right, because it's not business hours. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy video games. Although, is this work? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> uh, I can't find my way around this town. Just because we have to claim this income on our tax There returns. it is. We're there. We made it. I just gotta survive. Oh, that fairy, if you mess up, that fairy's gonna help you. <laughs> Surely you won't burn while you're talking to the guy. Talk to the guy. Oh yeah, you gotta- oh, that's 700. We only have four. Isn't the helmet like 2,000? Yeah, helmet's always really expensive. Hey, you go outside dressed like that? If you don't hurry and change your gear, you're gonna pass up from the heat. I wanna sell, please. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Um, any kind of ores that we may have? I... Sure, opals. And if you get one piece of armor, is it gonna be enough? Yeah, should be. To not, you won't be able to like go into the deep depths of heat with but we one can survive piece. But we here. can survive. You could sell a diamond. <laughs> sell a diamond. Just pants. Yeah, pants. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. <sighs> hey, we did it, basement Bam! boys. Next time in the basement, we're going to be accomplishing some other amazing feats uh, requested by you guys. That's and right, Ted. Thank you so much for hanging out with us as we <laughs> traverse all over Hyrule today. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We hope you guys had fun. And um, if you did have fun, you want to click that like button. That always helps us out. And be sure to comment. Tell us what you want to see us do in uh, further episodes of this series. And until next time, basement dwellers, we think that you are more susceptible to heat than a, an egg on a sidewalk on a 110 degree day in, in the, the basement. basement. How'd the sidewalk get down here in my basement?